to Lux Organics, hindi ko kayo binabash or anything, but I really, really believe that you guys can do better than this formula. For me, this is really not it. Hi everyone! Kumusta kayo? My name is John Angelo. Welcome to my channel and mag-uusap na naman tayo about skincare, skincare, and skincare. So, make sure to keep watching. So, ang pag-uusapan natin for this video is a very highly requested topic from you all. Finally, i-review na natin ang isa sa mga brands na pinakagusto ninyong i-review ko. And this is the Lux Organics AHA BHA Miracle Solutions line. Now, maraming iba't ibang mga lines ang Lux Organics as you guys all know. Pero itong Acne Solutions yung pinaka nire-request ninyo out of them all. And I think ito rin ata yung pinaka-popular na line sa kanila. Also, iba-iba ang mga reviews dito. Some liked it for their acne. And then yung iba, medyo parang nagka-malalang irritation sila. So here we go. Tingnan na natin ang thoughts ko for this video. And just so you guys know, this video is not sponsored by Lux Organics. Binili ko lahat ng mga products na to sa Watsons with my own money. And with that being said, let us begin. Alright, so just to be clear, ang review na to is after using the products for 3 weeks. And in general, usually around 2 to 3 weeks din talaga yung nilalaan ko when reviewing the products. Now, itong Acne Solutions line includes 4 products. We have their cleanser, toner, emulsion, and spot treatment. And then yung average price range ng mga products niya is nasa mga 200 to 300 pesos price range per product. And medyo not bad na rin yun kasi medyo malaman naman yung mga products. And if you buy the entire set, it'll cost around 1,215 pesos. Pero ang tanong, Dapat ba siyang bilhin as a whole set in the first place? Masasagot natin yan once we take a closer look at the products, starting with their AHA BHA Miracle Solutions Cleanser. Now, gaya ng pangalan ng line, this does have AHA in the form of glycolic acid and BHA in the form of salicylic acid. And ang purpose nila is to exfoliate your skin to help with acne as well as the texture of your skin. So sa mga hindi alam yung basics, yung AHA usually addresses yung texture sa top layer ng skin. And then yung BHA naman goes deeper into our skin to address yung excess oil and yung pagiging acne prone natin. It also helps unclog our pores. So for this product, ginamit ko to as a morning cleanser for 3 weeks. And regularly na talaga akong gumagamit ng BHA cleanser even before. So parang nagpalit lang ako ng brand. And ang masasabi ko sa product na to is, in fairness, it's a pretty good cleanser. Na gel type cleanser ito that foams very very easily and then kapag binanlaw mo siya, hindi siya stripping or hindi drying yung feeling sa skin. In fact, I felt like it cleansed my skin very well nang hindi siya din dry out. And personally, what I really liked about this product is kahit iiwan ko to sa face ko for up to 60 seconds, hindi siya humahap de or nagda-dry out compared to other BHA cleansers na minsan ganun kasi yung side effect nila. But again, it could be different for you guys depending sa skin type ninyo, pero ako in general, nahiyang ako dito. Now, the reason why I think this is gentler than other BHA cleansers is because meron itong mga gentle surfactants or cleansing agents na ginagamit. Now, this cleanser has sodium laureth sulfate or SLES, which on its own can be a bit on the drying side, pero hinaluan nila to with other gentle cleansing agents like cocamidopropyl betaine and disodium cocoamphodiacetate. And yung second one na sinabi ko, usually ginagamit nila yon sa mga baby washes. And also, nabalita ako pala recently na nireformulate to ni Lux Organics and apparently, tinanggal na nila yung sodium laureth sulfate. And I think that's actually a good move kasi kung gentle na to sa skin ko and meron siyang sodium laureth sulfate and yun na yung pinaka-harsh na cleansing agent, I'm assuming na the newer one na walang SLES would be even more gentle sa skin. Also, this does have tea tree oil which is technically fragrance pero hindi naman siya masyadong big deal because wash off naman to, hindi naman siya matagal sa skin ninyo. Now, while okay yung experience ko sa cleanser na to, ang isa lang na medyo parang nah ako about this product is hindi kasi naka-indicate kung ilang percent ng BHA yung laman ng cleanser na to. So dahil doon, hindi ko masabi kung anong degree of exfoliation yung nakukuha nyo from this. As in, kung light lang or kung parang maximum strength ng exfoliation yung makukuha ninyo. Kasi yung ibang mga BHA cleansers in the market like Quick FX, Cleanse It, Tinker Skin, nung nireview ko sila lahat, nakalagay yung percentage ng BHA. Pero ang ina ko, since wala silang nilagay, this is probably a low-strength exfoliating cleanser. Ang hula 
ako is around mga 0.5% or even less ang BHA. Which is actually not bad. Pwede to for beginners or for those who want to exfoliate their skin in a more gentle way. Kasi yung mga mas matataas na percent or yung mga leave-on products, minsan mas matapang na sila sa skin. But all in all, okay ako sa cleanser na to. It's definitely a yes for me. Okay, so let's move on sa next product ng line nila. This is the AHA BHA Miracle Solutions Toner. So ang claims nito is more on sa pores, more on unclogging and minimizing pores. And that actually makes sense because gawain yun ng BHA. And yung claim nila dito na pangatlo, yung refined skin tone, yun naman yung job ng AHA. Now, pag chinect natin yung formula nito guys, ito yung medyo... Natakot ako. As in, parang na-uncomfortable ako sa formula niya. So this does have good exfoliants. This has salicylic acid or BHA, which is again the best for oily and acne-prone skin. Plus, meron pa siyang AHA blend. This has AHAs like glycolic, mandelic, and lactic acid, which kapag ginawa mo kasi siyang blend, less irritating siya sa skin. But just like the cleanser, wala rin percentage na nakalagay dito. So again, I'm not sure if this is a low-strength exfoliating toner or if high-strength ba siya. So, una na yun. Next, kapag tinignan mo pa yung mga ibang ingredients, alcohol is the second ingredient. And that means, mataas ang alcohol content nito. Now, medyo mataas din yung tea tree oil sa ingredients list nito. And medyo marami rin siyang potentially irritating na plant extracts like peppermint, thyme, and sage. So, dito na ako medyo nahihirapan. And to be honest, sobrang hesitant ako at one point if it's even <laughs> worth it na itry ito. Kasi guys, sige, ibigay natin sa kanila yung benefit of the doubt when it comes to these ingredients. Una, yung alcohol denatured in itself, not necessarily bad ingredient naman siya lagi. Alcohol denatured in skincare products can actually help na mas mag-absorb yung active ingredients ng mga product. Like for example, sa mga sunscreens, ginagamit siya para mas mabilis mag-absorb yung UV filters. Na yung fragrance naman, fine. Sige, isipin natin na maliit lang naman yung chance na magka-allergic reaction siya. It's not likely. And if okay naman yung skin mo sa product na may fragrance, di naman magre -react. Up, it should be fine. So, it's true. Merong mga times na kapag ginagamit natin yung mga ingredients na yun, is okay lang siya. Pero guys, kung ilalagay niyo yung dalawang ingredients na yun sa product na to, and knowing na yung product na to is supposed to be an exfoliant, and ang exfoliant also has the side effect of irritating our skin. So, given na tatlong factors na yun, na-multiply na ng na-multiply ng ilang beses, yung chances na pwedeng ma-irritate yung skin mo. And guys, hindi yun good idea at all. Kasi kapag na-irritate yung skin natin, ibang malaking problema naman yun. Buti sana kung nag isang product lang to na available sa market natin that can exfoliate your skin. Pero sa totoo lang, in the same price range as this, you can find AHA and BHA toners na mas maganda yung formulation and alam mo pa yung percent niya. Na yung iba, yes, merong fragrance, pero alcohol-free naman yung formula nila. For example, yung Quick FX. Now, yes, meron yung fragrance, pero alcohol-free naman siya. Na yung iba, like Oxycure, meron siyang alcohol, pero fragrance-free naman siya. And there are even brands na tinanggal na nila both ang alcohol and fragrance to lessen the chances na ma-irritate yung skin natin. So, sa totoo lang talaga, guys, ang daming mas magandang options sa price range na to. But nonetheless, dahil review nga siya, I still tried this product and nilagay ko siya around mga 3 times a week. Normally, kapag maglalagay din ako ng mga leave-on na BHA, I just use them 3 to 4 times a week. Now, as expected, this absorbs really fast because meron siyang alcohol and for the first few minutes, merong hydrating feel yung skin mo. Because, uh, thankfully, naglagay naman sila ng mga hydrating ingredients dito at the very least. Pero guys, in the long run, I felt that my skin was drier and mas madali siyang na-irritate in general kapag ginagamit ko to. And actually, guys, if on acne meds kayo, like for example, tretinoin, adapalene or benzoyl peroxide this is not a good idea na isabay as in sobrang i would not recommend using this kapag naka acne medications ka now, if you want you can use the cleanser along with your acne meds kasi sa akin naging okay yung result non. pero itong toner talaga as in x ito wag yung isabay so all in all to lux organics hindi ko kayo binabash or anything but i really really believe that you guys can do better than this formula for me, this is really not it. And as a suggestion, maybe remove either the alcohol or the fragrance kasi talaga 
this formulation is a bit behind compared sa ibang mga options sa drugstores for the same price or even cheaper. Again, I'm not bashing. This is just constructive criticism. Alright, next up, we move on to their third product and this is their AHA-BHA Miracle Solutions Emulsion. Okay, so I'm not completely sure what Lux Organics wants this to be. Kung more on moisturizer ba siya or parang exfoliating product in a cream base or maybe both, hindi ko talaga sure. Pero tinest ko yung pH nito using pH strips and ang lumabas sa kanya is pH 6 to 7 and based on research sa pH na yun, hindi na masyadong magiging effective ang pag-exfoliate sa skin ng AHAs and BHAs. So sige, given those facts, i-assume natin na moisturizer siya. So just like the other two products from the line, pareho na naman ulit ang mga main ingredients nito. But since AHA and BHA aren't effective at this pH level, gaya nga ng sabi natin kanina, more on ang nagbubuhat dito is yung niacinamide, which is an all-around good ingredient for oily and acne-prone skin and nakakatulong din siya sa dark spots. Meron din tong hyaluronic acid which helps hydrate the skin and it also has shea butter which helps seal in the moisture and smoothen the skin. And yet again, meron na naman tong denatured alcohol which is second na naman sa ingredients list along with tea tree oil which is again, technically a fragrance. So okay, at this point, medyo napapaisip na ako if ang gusto ba talaga mangyari ni Lux Organics is sabay-sabay ko to gamitin in one routine. Kasi yung kaninang toner, AHA and BHA siya na alcohol-based na may fragrance. And then itong moisturizer, AHA, BHA na alcohol-based na may fragrance na medyo mas moisturizing. Na okay, assume natin na gusto nga gawing lightweight moisturizer to ni Lux Organics. Okay, my problem is, Bakit siya alcohol-based? Na ang pinaka-posibleng reason for this is para mas mabilis mag-absorb yung product sa skin. And of course, we love to use moisturizers na mabilis mag-absorb sa skin kasi convenient sila. But guys, when it comes to alcohol-based products, in the long run, lalong dry out lang talaga yung skin natin sa patuloy na paggamit nito. Especially if meron tayong acne and gumagamit tayo ng acne medications. Kasi drying na yun to begin with. And kaya nga tayo nag-hydrate and nag-moisturize pagkatapos ng acne meds is para ma-offset yung pag-dry out nila sa skin natin. Pero kung maglalagay ka pa ng ganito, it might make your skin even drier. Simply because alcohol-based ito. And true enough guys, nung ginamit ko to, I really just could not get myself to use this every day, especially since naga acne medications ako. And also because lalo talagang nadadry at nai-irritate yung skin ko in general kapag ginagamit ko tong moisturizer na to. And take note, never ko to naging problema sa moisturizer. As in, at most, yung typical na nagiging problema ko lang sa mga moisturizers is either kulang or sobra yung hydration or moisture na nakukuha ko sa kanya. As in, first time kong ma-experience tong actively mas nakaka-contribute ang isang moisturizer sa pag dry out ng skin ko. So just like the toner, similar experience siya. At first, very supple, very hydrated yung skin mo. And then in a few minutes, parang wala na yung feeling niya. Which you might think is good, pero ayun nga, in the long run, after 3, 4, 5 times of using it, notice mo, your skin is drier, especially kung nag acne medications ka. So again, for this product, it's also a no from me. In my opinion, I don't see the point in using a moisturizer na alcohol-based. Lalong lalo na after gumamit ka ng cleanser na mildly exfoliating and then a toner na exfoliating din. At this point, parang pataas ng pataas ng pataas ang chances na may irritate yung skin ninyo. Now again, just a suggestion to Lux Organics, I really think you guys can also do better than this. Even just removing the alcohol from this moisturizer will help make it better. Next up, we move on to their last product which is a spot treatment. This is the AHA BHA Miracle Solutions Pimple Corrector. So for this one, ang main na claim nila is this prevents dark spots from pimples and prevents breakouts. And ginagawa niya yon through... Surprise! The same ingredients as the last two products. So again, at this point, if ginagamit mo na yung cleanser, yung toner, and yung emulsion, or all of them, I'm not sure kung ano pa yung point of putting a spot corrector with just...
But again, sige, for the sake of fairness, let's give Lux Organics the benefit of the doubt. The let's same say na yes. isa lang dapat yung piliin mo sa mga products depending sa issue mo. And again, since walang nakalagay na percentage ng AHA or BHA dito, I'm going to assume that this has a low percentage. In that case, sa less than 1%, medyo si BHA na lang yung may significant effect along with niacinamide, which is a good combination especially for acne and pimple marks. Now, just like the other products in this line, yes, this also has fragrance and alcohol-based din siya. But with spot treatments, depending sa skin type mo, medyo pwede kang mas maging lenient because spot lang naman siya. As in, yung pimple lang naman yung target mo and not the entire face. But still, it's a leave-on product. So if may sensitive skin ka or rosacea, you might want to be careful. So itong pimple corrector na to is actually pretty okay in my opinion. Nakatulong naman to sa pag-dry out ng pimple ko and dahil nga may niacinamide siya, may potential na ma-prevent din yung pimple na yon na maging dark spot. Also, maganda yung applicator nito. Masasakto mo talaga yung amount na gusto mong kunin. And also, the consistency of this product is a clear gel type na mabilis mag-absorb, which is usually good for spot treatments kasi meaning nito, magagamit mo siya sa umaga. As in, aantayin mo lang siya mag-dry and then you can put on your moisturizer or your sunscreen on top. Or sa gabi naman, since mabilis nga siya mag-absorb, hindi ka na masyadong mag-worry na parang mapupunas siya sa una ninyo. Now, all in all, medyo decent naman to as a spot treatment, mas may potential nga lang ito maging mas mahapde compared to other spot treatments kasi medyo mataas yung alcohol sa ingredients list nito. And overall, kung yung cleanser yung first na product na kukunin ko from this line, siguro ito yung nasa second place. So now na naisa-isa na natin yung mga products guys, ito na yung final thoughts ko and yung sagot sa tanong na, dapat bang ipagsabay-sabay yung mga products na to in one routine? And my recommendation is really no. As in, kapag pinatong nyo tong mga products na to, tataas at tataas lang talaga yung chances na magkaka-irritation yung skin niyo. And also, wala talaga siyang point kasi it's the same ingredients over and over and over. And you don't need to use AHA and BHA in all steps in your routine. In fact, sinasabi nga ng mga dermatologists na you don't even need to exfoliate every day. So what more kung apat pa na products in one day? So all in all, again, I really think Lux Organics can do better with this line. But if there's any one product na pipiliin ko from this line, it's definitely going to be their cleanser. Kasi na-impress talaga ako dito. So I hope this review was able to help you guys. And if you found this video informative, please do leave me a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos like this. And as always guys, I will see you in the next video. Bye!